Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. Right. Hey Sarah, I heard you have a big math test coming up. <laughs> well today we will be working with the abacus. These tools I'm sorry, I'm looking at that. Um this tool will help you with many math solutions. Uh, ranging from addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In this lesson, I will begin to show you the basic strategies and keywords that you will use while using your abacus. So first off, I'm just going to let you discover the abacus. Have you ever heard of an abacus before? No. No? Well, reach out in front of you. And you feel that? Mm hmm What do you feel on it? Balls. Yeah and like kind of metal rods and plastic, right? Mm -hmm. That is an abacus. And on the abacus, there are different parts. I'm just gonna have you explore it for a little while. If you notice anything and you wanna ask any questions, just let me know. Okay. All right. Okay, as you are exploring the abacus, you feel different things. And can you name some of the things which you already did? They're small round beads, right? Those are the balls. Mm -hmm. And if you feel them, they are moving up and down, so, right? Mm -hmm. And can you count how many balls are in one row? There's one, right? Mm -hmm. Two. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, good job. And then can you count how many rows of beads there are from, I guess, your right to your left? Thirteen. Yep, good job. All right. The abacus has two different parts. One that is above another. So if you feel there's one bead on the top, and there's like a plastic part in the middle, and then there's four beads on the bottom, right? For each row. You feel that? Mm hmm All right. So, on the upper hand, or the upper part of the abacus, so the one with the one bead, those are called five beads. So that one bead counts as five different beads. Okay. Does that make sense? And then the ones at the bottom, each individual count as one. So if you're counting, let's see your finger, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you push all those all the way at the bottom. So the number that you have right here would be a five, right? Okay. And that is called setting the abacus. And is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. no. So what you do for that one is let's set our abacus. We'll clear it. Clearing is when it's completely clear. And when it's completely clear, there are here. Let me see your hand. You feel that all those beads are at the bottom and all those beads are at the top. And that's called clearing. And then when we set it, we set a number. So you were asking about ten. So we're gonna count to five. So one two, three. Here, actually, put both your hands on it. Hold it like this, and hold, like, put your thumb right here. So we're on, we're on three, right? So three, four, then we go five, right? Oh yeah, and then we wanna go six, seven, eight, nine, but you wanna know how you get to 10? We clear this, and then we go to the next row, and that's 10. Okay. So each row, where there's the metal bars represents a different place. So you've got your ones place all the way to the right, tens place. Here, you can move your finger along with me. So one place, tens place, uh, hundreds place, thousands place, and so on and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can also feel them at the top. You feel how there's little bumps and dots for you. Mm -hmm. That helps tell you what place you're at as well if okay. you need to. Mm -hmm. And from the right side is the lowest number, and the left side is the highest. Okay. All right. So when we work with the abacus, as we were just showing, or working with you, it is horizontally, right, that you're holding it. So we're not holding it vertically. We're holding it horizontally with the ones, or the five beads on the top, and the ones beads on the bottom. And as I've been saying, there are many terms that we will be using with the abacus. And today, I will teach you some, as we said earlier, setting and clearing. Do you remember what setting is? No. That is when you place a number. 
So when we're adding a five to the abacus like that, that's called setting a number. And clearing a number is when you make it zero. Okay, so back up. Back up, yep. So what is setting? Um, setting is bringing the five down. Or, yeah, or entering or a number. Entering a number. Mm -hmm. And then clearing is when you... When you push it back up. And it makes it... Zero. Yeah, good job, Sarah. All right. Well, now that I've taught you some of those words, I'd like you to try and set a number for me. And if you need help, just let me know, okay? Can you okay. show me a 12 on the abacus? So how many did you just put up? Um, so I put the four, okay, but the fours need to go down, the mm -hmm. singles, and then the five goes down, and then you go to the next row. Well, should the five, if you set the one in that row, wouldn't it be 15? And we want to set 12. So this, remember, this is our ones place, so what would you put in the ones place of 12? Two. Yeah. So go ahead and push those two up. And then in the tens place, we would put a... Uh, one. Yeah, good job. Okay. So you can just push this one up. All right. So, now that we've set one number, I wanna see if you can try and set another number. Can you set just a five for me? Yep, good job. <laughs> All right, now you can clear it. Now that we have learned about the abacus, I'm going to give you a different uh, unit or uh, numbers place. Um, and I want you to show me it in the column. So where would your, well, a different, like, yeah, place. Uh, where would your hundreds number start at? Um, the third row. Yeah, right. good job. All right, what about your tens place? Um, the second row. All right, so if you wanted to add a hundred thousand, which row would you put the one in? Wait, one hundred thousand? Yeah, if you wanted to set that on the abacus. Right here. The one, two, Three, four, fifth one. Yeah, good job. Are, are you sure it would be the fifth one? How many digits are in a, a hundred thousand? Six. So yeah, six. So six <laughs> good job. All right. So now, now that we've learned where the places are and have set and clear the abacus, I'm going to give you four different numbers and I want you to set them. So can you clear the abacus for me right now? What do you do when you clear the abacus? Because right now you're setting all the fours up. I'm setting up, all right? the fours up. Okay. Wait, so. So clearing is down, setting is up for the bottom, and then for the and top, then setting is down and clearing is up. Okay. So they're opposite. So they're opposite. Got it. Mm hmm. So I want you to set 365. So what plus one would make a, good job. Woo, all right, that was so good. <laughs> all right, can you clear that for me? Yep. Okay. Can you set a thousand and thirty-five for me? Good job. All right. How about we set 35,000?
All right. So when you go back to your three, where the 35 would be. Mm -hmm. So how do we want to set it? We want to count from the ones place. So put your finger on the ones place. So that's right. We put a zero there and a zero there and a zero there. Mm -hmm. And then we put the five right here, which you got right. But then go over one and that's blank. So okay. you put three hundred and five thousand. Okay. I mean, you put thirty-five thousand. Okay. So we need a clear which one? Well, you got this one right already, so okay. you don't need to do that one. Feel where your other beads are at, and feel the top, right? Okay. So that one, and then you need to go over to the left one. Yep. Now put your fingers down to the ones beads, and you're going to push how many up? Three. Yeah. And but then, then we clear need to clear the, the hundred thousand place, yeah. Good job. So how many numbers did we do so far? Three of them? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is going to be our last number. Can you tell me how old you are, Sarah? 21. Alright, how about you add a 21? So clear it all. I'm going to feel all over the abacus to make sure it's clear. Good job. Okay, so 21. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. All right, can you clear it one more time for me? And this is our last number. Mm -hmm. So, today, oh, you can put the abacus down if you want to and relax a little. Today we learned the basics of the abacus. And this is very important because the abacus is a great tool to use during math. FCAT testing is coming up soon and the abacus is going to be a great tool for you. It will help you identify numbers and next time we will learn how to do some basic addition and subtraction while using our abacus. Alright Sarah, have a great day. Thanks.